my baby did not survive mm. actually the baby cause uh, i remember hiyo siku ni the end of see mm. daktari akikuwa dikto information mm. akinambia vile bibi yangu alikuwa ameanguka chini mm. na na nini anaenda kutafuta kudibidi wa mkimbiza theater mm. ili wa save mtoto mm. kwa mtoto alikuwa anachoka na mama hezi pumua hezi mm. kwanza tena kusukuma mtoto mm. so ikabidi waende wa, watoe mtoto wafanyia operation mm. so akadaktari akandanganya mtoto alikuwa sawa mm. lakini kufika kwa mtoto mm. nikapata mtoto hakuwa sawa mtoto mm. pia alikuwa kwa koma yeah. alikuwa kwa koma ambapo pia yeye alikuwa na struggle na life mm. so in the really sense mama alipasa mara kwanza mm ndo mtoto akapasi wa pili. Mm. Mm. Jambo guys, this is your guy Rick and welcome to Just the Q show. So, hii mwaka manze ijakuwa rais 2023 and you see 2024 pia ijakuwa rais. We have seen uh, what happened pale jua kali and pale mpakasi. But today we are bring our first guest kwa show. Tamwacha aje introduce, atuambie anaitwa nani, anatoka wapi and what he does and then uh, directly we will go to the story karibu bro okay asante uh, mimi naitwa kevin mm-hmm. kevin shitiabai mm-hmm. natoka kakamega county mm-hmm. uh, a place called eregi mm-hmm. and currently naishi nairobi mm-hmm. mbakasi mm-hmm. yeah sa so, karibu kwa show so actually tuko kwa show leo kuna story yako tuliona mahali ilikuwa regarding uh, you lost your wife through mama Lucy in the other stories tumeona umetuelezea how it reached there but you see nataka leo tuelezee as in briefly what really happened hapo mama Lucy ndio ukajipata kwa hiyo situation okay mimi briefly tuna za sema mama Lucy walini enjoy mm-hmm. sababu walinifanyia tu drama drama za kunificha ficha huku na huku mm-hmm after kuwa amejua bibi yangu amekufa. Mhm. Nasema watu after kuwa wameua bibi yangu because mm-hmm. uh, alinipigia simu niende hospitali kumbe mm-hmm. walikuwa wananiitia maiti. Mm-hmm. Na hawakuniambia kama ni maiti wananiitia. Mhm. Wakanificha ficha wakapeleka ICU, wakakalisha mm-hmm. ICU. Tu alika ICU two days. Mm-hmm. Na hivyo hivyo ilikuwa nangangana na wapushi nipeleke Kenyatta afanywe CT scan kwa alikuwa ameanguka chini. Mm-hmm. Anguka chini akagonga kichwa kwa chuma. Mm-hmm na wakakuwa wananipeleka hivi hivi tu mpaka the last minute ndio wakanidanganya kwa wakanikonfamia kuwa amekufa mm-hmm. so ilikuwa ni hivyo so actually condition gani ilifanya ukapeleka wife yako mama Lucy mimi siku mpeleka mm-hmm. eh, madam alijipeleka mwenyewe mm-hmm. in fact alikuwa amefika 42 weeks mm-hmm. akaamua ajipeleke alikuwa mjamzito alikuwa mjamzito uh-huh peleka mama Lucy ili ajifungue. Mm-hmm. So in fact alijipeleka kwa induced. Mm-hmm. So yeye kufika hata ikwanza yuko aende mama Lucy kulingana mm-hmm. na plan zetu ama plan zangu. Mm-hmm. I didn't want her to go to mama Lucy. Mm-hmm. But yes juu alipanga kwa sababu ya kunifunguzia gharama. Mhm. Kama ilikuwa ni nini mpaka sijaielewa mpaka sasa hivi. Mm-hmm. Labda alinionea huruma anipunguzia gharama sikujua. Mm-hmm. Kini vile aliambia kwa mama Lucy alikuwa amejipeleka kwa induced. Mm-hmm. So basi alienda pale na kile tayo scenario yote. Mm. Na mali umetaja ukutaka ende mama Lucy. What uh, maybe the reasons behind ukutaka ende mama Lucy? Okay, mama Lucy I remember it was uh, back in uh, June, back in September mm-hmm. last year 2023. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had my sister in law mm-hmm. ambaye alienda pale ku deliver mm-hmm. and uh, that sister in law she went there mm-hmm. and uh, she was uh, alikuwa ame maji yake ilikuwa imepasuka like 3 days. Mm-hmm. Alikaa kwa hiyo hospitali 3 days hakuna kitu anamfanyia. Mm-hmm. So hiyo time tulienda mimi na bwanake mm-hmm. ndio tulijaribu kuchip in, tukajaribu kuweka hiyo pressure mm-hmm. tukaanza kuhudumiwa. Mm-hmm. Na I'm kitu after kuhudumiwa mm-hmm. alimaliza 2 hours, some hours akajifungua. Mm-hmm. So meaning alikuwa na mnege ni jantua na acha hivyo tu akae. Na mtu mm-hmm. maji imepasuka in 3 days. Mm-hmm. Mtu amendoswa kama maji ishapasuka but mm-hmm. wamemwacha tu. Mm-hmm. So vile niliona hivyo na nikaona zile movement ziko pale nikiona mm-hmm. hapo the same day niliambia tu madam niambia hiyo hospitali mm-hmm. usiwahi kanyaga hapa mm-hmm. hata kama tumefika wapi. Mm-hmm. Simu yangu umepiga ni mteja end hospitali nyingine nikupate mm-hmm. lakini sio hii. Mm-hmm. So we started from there. Mm. Na discussion haikuwa ikuwa na mama Lucy ndani. Mm. So I had my plans. 
Sasa sijui yeye ilifika aje mpaka akaona labda alikuwa amejiamini akaona yeye si nyumba ya kwanza <coughs> ashayejifungua <coughs> and anaweza anaweza enda akakuwa safe so <coughs> i think hiyo ndio point so briefly yani in short nasema mama lucy their services they are very low compared to very low and very poor because <coughs> uh, in fact they don't have that humor <coughs> yeah ni watu wakiona kitu imefanyika ni watu wana pretend they are okay mm-hmm. but they really send on the ground ukifika mm-hmm. system yao na vile wana process the system mm-hmm. na vile hao manas wana handle watu especially in uh, upande wa jawazito mm-hmm. is not okay mm-hmm. hawako sawa mm-hmm. kwa the way they handle my wife mpaka akafika hapo mahali pata ajali aanguke chini mm-hmm. aumie mm-hmm. alafu aanza kufanya cover up ina maisha ni watu wanajua cha kinaendelea yeah kozi kama mgonjwa amefika theater mm. ama umia usaidi ya leba mm. kwa nini mukave mtu wa leba yeah true na nielewa mimi mm. mseme kumekuwa hivi na hivi ajali imetokezea kozi hata mimi wangeniambia ajali imetokezea mm. hata wewe oh, alikuwa na wani dangai tu nasa alikuwa anaenda kuleta hii mm. na tukapata iko hivi mm. na kaanguka mm. it's okay lakini uzuri mm. pia tu wangenidanganya kuna watu walikuwa mm. kozi kuna patients wengine walikuwa so hao pia still wangesema to the same kweli wangeniambia So how did you get to know that wife yako aliumia kwa hoho dama kwa leba na kapata accident? Ni wa hospitali nikuelezea ama you just got some information? Okay before that mm. after ku confirm kuelezea information after kufika hospitali mm. um, kuna one of the patient ambao alikuwa ni mama mjamzito pia alikuwa anakoja time yake mm. yeye ndiye alishare na mimi information kwa alianguka chini. Mm-hmm. Sasa kuanguka chini kakuja sasa hiyo time pia nilikuwa na pressure mm. na nataka kuongea na management mm. nao pia waka open up sasa ndo wakanieleza aliangukia nini mm. waka accept kuwa alianguka chini mm. na kuanguka aliangukia chuma mm. hiyo stand mm. ambapo imekao kama unimia hapa chini hapa imekaa hivi sasa hiyo hapo ndo adigonga hii ni yake ndo adigonga hapo mm. so ikamuumiza mm. kwa hata kulingana na post mortem haiko imetoboa skull but skali ilikuwa imeumia kidogo mm. ilikuwa imeumia mm. na ilikuwa imeingia ndani kabisa mbaka imeguza skali mm. so kumaanisha aliumia mm. kwa hata brain yake post mortem ilionyesha ilikuwa swollen mm. so is either ilikuwa swollen from injury mm-hmm. ama lack of oxygen mm. so ndo bado pia na ngoja hizo results zikuje mm. njue what the problem kwa nini so maybe hata tujajua did the baby survive ama the baby did not survive mm. actually the baby cause uh, i remember hiyo siku ni the end of see mm. daktari akikuwa dikto information mm. akinambia vile wa bibi yangu alikuwa ameanguka chini mm. na na nini anaenda kutafuta kudibidi wa mkimbize theater mm. ili wa save mtoto mm. cause mtoto alikuwa anachoka na mama hezi pumua hezi mm. kuanzetea kusukuma mtoto mm. so ikabidi waende wa, watoe mtoto wafanyia operation mm. so daktari akandanganya mtoto alikuwa sawa mm. lakini kufika kwa mtoto mm nikapata mtoto hakuwa sawa mtoto mm. pia alikuwa kwa koma yeah alikuwa kwa koma na pia yeye alikuwa na struggle na life mm. so in the really sense mama alipasi mara kwanza mm. ndio mtoto akapasi wa pili mm. Mm. we are sorry for your loss it's very very sad and uh, now vile uliongea na hospitali baada ya realize makosa ni hospitali na wife yako alumia kwenye hospitali what action did they take kujaribu ku cover your losses mm. or to take responsibility mm, hospitali mm. actually naweza sema hiyo hospitali kama umezoea because uh, the thing is uh, what kati niliona tu ile concern yao ni ile time ilikuwa na shughulika mm. time ya post mortem kukilia time upande wa hospitali kukilia bills hiyo mm. ndo time nilikuwa naona nimeketi tu ananipea privilege na kaa wananihudumia everything just mm. kuni simba tu naelewa mm. sasa lakini from there hakuna anything mm. hakuna hata even call vile walikuwa wananipigianga cause they had my data walikuwa na conduct zangu mm. hakuna any call at you are sorry mm. or oh, unafikia wapi hakuna hiyo idisha na walisahau mm. mm. yeah. so until today until today au japata justice for your wife and your family sijapata na and uh, it's just like two, some weeks away mm. ndo nipata hizo results za post mortem mm-hmm do sasa from there mm-hmm. no sasa ndo ntaamua with the way to go so since then have you tried to contact the hospital who would is probably if they have anything to say ama before any follow up no regarding justice the follow up sijaifanya mm-hmm. remember kuna time 
Kuna time I had uh, with one guy alikuwa amenifanyisha interview. Mhm. Alikuwa anataka kufanya follow up nao. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo siku nikampigia daktari mwa ilikuwa naye simu, mm-hmm. one of the senior doctors. Uh, mm-hmm. Nikamwambia I wanted to meet you. Uh, kindly niambie. In fact hiyo siku alijificha akaniambia I'm not around. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Waenda tuko ofisi yeah. utapata watu wako mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. na utakuhudumia. So ile tulikaa na huyu sababu alikuwa ile tulikaa na yeye tukaenda tukapata ofisi imefungwa. Mhm. Inelokiwa na hakuna mtu. Mm-hmm. Na ilikuwa ni mapema hata kabla ya 5. Mm-hmm. So is like they were hiding also. Mm-hmm. So sijai wapatizia. Mm-hmm. Kwa the first thing to inafanya na na, na jaribu avoid pia hata kuwaendea. Mm-hmm. Nikifika pale nachukua anga na ile asira vile walinichezesha ile game. Yeah kifika pale yani huwa na wana ile anka kabisa mm-hmm. naweza fanya kitu kibaya kwao ama naweza mess wakanishika ama wakanifanya wakanipiga watu so mm-hmm. inabidi tu unangaja nitumie direct procedure mm-hmm. sasa hopa utapata justice now as we are tukikuangalia unajua yeye unakaa kijana mdogo sana na you see it's very unfortunate you lost your wife at early age mm-hmm. but uh, mko umebarikiwa na watoto wengine yeah mimi mm-hmm. na niko na mtoto mm-hmm. na yeye Mm. I have one kid alikuwa na 5 years. Mhm. Na bado ndo tukua tunakuwa. Mhm. Na ndo tunakuwa na pia huwa tunasema sisi ni wale an old soil eh. Yeah. Living in a young body forever. So <laughs> that's why we we'll be young forever. Yeah. So tulikuwa tunako na mtoto. Mhm. First born ako na 5 years. Mm. Ndo tulikuwa sasa tunatarajia tume huyu wa pili sana kwa sasa tunatarajia. So how is the kid uh, ana survive bila mama yake how is she coping up na wewe mwenyewe unaichukulia aje size Okay nikaanza upande wa mtoto mm. sometimes inakuanga very hard kwa sababu anafika anga too mad ana feel ana miss mm. mother mm. so inakuwa ngumu ku handle mm. especially the nana is mo handle mm. so inabidi tu ni chip in unampembeleza you do this mm. unapata ko down emotionally mm. so unampembeleza Sometimes anafika na kuambia I miss mom. Anataka kusikwenda asalamie mama ushago. Mm-hmm. So unapata hizo zinakuwa challenges. Mm-hmm. But huwa na jaribu tu kumhandle na mweka ida ajaelewe kuwa my mom is not there. Mm-hmm. But uh, tutaenda hata kama ni kumsalamia tutaenda. Mm-hmm. So inakuwa hivyo. Then on my side on my side uh, some are hard because uh, ni ngumu. Inani affect baka job. Mm-hmm kozo unapata ukifika job unachukia everybody mm. unaweza handle kitu uweze handle any case unaweza handle anything mm. so anybody man anakuja mbele yako unaona unamchukia mm. anybody unakuja hata kuja amekueleza vizuri unapata ukimjibu mm. unamjibu na inuana tu na yeye tuna hasira mm. so ikabidi hapana ikabidi tu nitulie kidogo mm. then i see so mm. from that pia during these uh, through these online uh, interviews mm-hmm na pia some candles one candles on metokeza au mejitokeza mhm wananipea sessions in through online mm-hmm. so naona pia zinanisaidia kidogo mm-hmm. yeah so probably kuna mtu pale nje amepoteza ndugu yake ama poteza mtoto wake poteza mtenzi wake na i know it's very hard to accept as for you unaona you are going through therapy maybe unaweza advice mtu unaweza muelezea aja vijana wadogo hapa nje whoever is out there Unajua first of all mimi naanza anza hivi mm. people are different yes some people are married at there people are just living just because they are husband and wife mm. you number one. Mm-hmm. cause i may go through in a different way yes kuna mtu anaweza go through in a different way mm. that's why unaweza enda pata hata mtu matanga iko lakini mtu ako tu soba mm. cause kuna mtu anapatanga patina wake kama ameenda yeye anapatanga ko rebuild. Mm. Eh? Ampata amepumua. Na kuna mwingine anaona amepoteza. Mm. So tukikutana mimi nimepoteza huyu amepoteza. Mm. You are different. You are suffering in a different way. Yes. Umeelewa? Mm. Kuna mtu anasafa kwa society inakundua kuwa this person alipoteza bibi. Mm. So yeye hey, yuko tu okay nilipoteza lakini ndani is okay. Mm. Unaona? So mimi on my side kama kuna mtu ako kwa shughuli yangu ama na kama tuna share the same because mm. mimi bibi yangu the first thing she was played ever since nianze kukaa na yeye mm. ka yani hizo siku alikuwa anakuja kunitembelea anga kwa nyumba tukikula tunakula kwa sani moja mm. mpaka siku tumeanza kukaa na yeye tumezaa mtoto amekuwa mkubwa tunaishi na watu kwa nyumba tuna host watu wa kwa nyumba tunakaa nao but we just use one plate mpaka mm. siku yenyewe amepass 
so she was a friend mm. ni mtu wenye hata mkienda kushawa you share one mm. hasa ni mtu ambaye tukua tuna share hata bafu tunaenda mtu friend unaona mm. mtu hawezi kula kama sijafika mm. all those years mm. mtu ambaye hata mkikosana mkiboreshana mm. unarekebishana wenyewe mm. so we are friends mm. and i lost her a friend mm. not just a wife mm. i lost a friend mm. and a best friend of mine mm. so kama kuna mtu ako hapo nje cause me say hii mahali niko ni hard ni hard hata kuambia mtu accept mfanye nini we move on mimi mwenyewe bado sija move on mm. sababu bado sijaje accept mm. sababu mtu kwanza unapata mtu hajakuwa mgonjwa mm. unajua ukikuwa na mtu ni mgonjwa unafika mahali mpaka unachoka mm. unasema eh Mungu huyu anaumia hebu mm. mchukue hiyo mm. pia ni different case mm. lakini yangu mtu mnaongea naye leo mnafikia naye unafika asubuhi unampigia simu mnaongea mm. then from there hakuna communication mm-hmm. alafu kiendo unapata hawezi ongea mm. na linaisha hivyo mm. so yangu iko different mm. so ndio baka sahi siwezi pewa mtu advice mm. at accept <laughs> you move on cause me on my side mimi mwenyewe bado si accept yeah bado niko kwa hiyo dinayo. Mm. Bado naishi niki imagine labda anaweza kuja. Mm. Unaona inakuanga ni ngumu sana. Unaona mm. inakuwa ni ngumu. Yeah true. Yeah. So maybe unaweza ku report case kwa nearest police station ama are we planning to move forward to seek for justice? Yeah, the case ni report na ni report kwa DCI. Mm. Uh, case kwa wana DCI ndo wana handle case. Mm au ndo alisimamia postmortem mm-hmm. and the same people wenye nangojo angoja wanangojo wadete results mm-hmm. kutoka kwa lab ya mm-hmm. serikali mm-hmm. so that's why I'm waiting for them mm-hmm. so case kwa police mm-hmm. yeah iko under DCI mm-hmm. yeah so as we know we are not accusing the Kenyan government but as you know sometimes justice is being delayed so we mwenye are you ready to accept the result yenye atapeana You know mm. as for myself ni nisema mm. for the love i had for my life for my wife i mean mm-hmm. i'll fight for her in the last minute mm-hmm. and for now i said i'll still push on mm-hmm. na nikitumia hata media hivi i'm using to expose the hospital mm-hmm. na ikifika time mm-hmm. kama justice haitapatikana mm-hmm. i still use the same media Mm. kwa expose the, the, the government mm-hmm. sababu vile wanafanyia watu mm-hmm. cause we want to know what is really happening there mmenielewa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. today is me hata after hiyo scenario yangu ni nyingi zime happen yeah. sio yangu peke yangu mm-hmm. ni nyingi zime happen mm-hmm. na ni wachache wanajitokeza mm-hmm. wengi wanakuanga tu hivyo chini ya maji mm-hmm. so still bado zina happen mm-hmm. so we are here to save or to make that hospital to be better of tomorrow mm-hmm. that's why we doing this mm-hmm. so regardless the justice Menelewa. Mm. Nataka kesho. Ikifika kesho kuna mtu ako free kwenda kwa hospitali. Mm. Na kama haiwezekani, tusiwahi kuwa na maternity story ya maternity kwa hospitali. Mm. Menelewa. Mm. So that's why I'm doing this. Mm. Yeah. Ikifika time kama justice hakuna, still tafika time to find the government to know mm. kwa nini hospitali inakuanga hivyo every now and then. What mm. is happening? Mm. Nini ni kwa hiyo mm. So if this one will come to help and I know I'm not alone. Mm. People will come up to join menelewa mm. mm. so tutakuja paka tu change hiyo mm. yeah tukishikana wawili watatu wenye wamepitia hii mm. wakuja wajiunge tutafanya change mm. is either it okay maternity mm. or is either uh, ikuje kwa good facility mm. menelewa mm. yeah so is like that mm. so probably kuna mtu anataka ku reach out cause uh, cause ya muda Uh, unaweza share social media yako namba yako ya simu maybe mtu anaweza taka kukusaidia ku go through this journey maybe another therapist or maybe mtu anaweza taka pia ku host unaweza share details zako na kama uko na channel pia you can do the same okay first of all i think you Daniel yangu iko mm. ambaye hajakuwa active sasa lakini ndo itakuwa active mm. uh, ambaye anatumia at kevin chitabai mm. uh, 20 26 89 mm-hmm. that's my youtube channel then na uh, ya simu ni 07 29 361 040